power of productivity please write it down let's deal with this thing very quickly because someone's destiny must change this night God has vowed it his jealousy is upon it we cannot delay productivity Genesis 1 26 productivity the saints must understand these boundaries of dominion and walk therein and Elohim said let us make Adam Adam means dark earth it's not the name of the first man by the way Adam was not the first man you know that right the first man made in the image and the likeness of Christ is this entity called Adam but Adam means dark earth there have been many humanoid species designed and created by God until Adam you know this theologically right in theology we call it the gap theory the mystery that explains Genesis 1 verse 1 and Genesis 1 verse 2 in the beginning God creates the heavens and the earth and everything God creates is good so we see that there is darkness and void is the word tohu wabohu darkness and chaos and disarray it always follows judgment darkness always follows judgment and in scripture judgment happens by only two elements water and fire hallelujah that was the water that swept across the face of the earth and then the bible says the spirit of the lord hovered around the face of the deep then verse 3 and elohim said light be the word light be means light appear not light manifest it was always there and that light was not sunlight because the other lights were made in day four so this light is what john said was the life of man he released the life giving factor that he withdrew hallelujah productivity let's look up let us make man in our own image his character our character he says after our likeness let him function like us are we together now yes if you see a man with five or ten hands it's an attack because that's not the likeness of god are we together now yes and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea the fowl of the air now notice that every time he mentions one of the animals that represent the king of the domain for the sea he says is fish for the fowl of the air and over cattle over all the earth are we together and over all the creeping things go to 28 so he created and god blessed them and said be fruitful has nothing to do with having children be fruitful be fruitful and multiply pastor the real miracle of dominion is the third word replenish you remain poor until you replenish you fear your success the cure for lack is the ability to replenish the hallmark of productivity is not being fruitful is the fortitude the ability to replenish you become a giver when you have the ability to replenish replenish means insist that the supply does not end you will always fear what is small you will always fear what is left but you never fear what you can reproduce this is the principle that has been used by the largest companies, the conglomerates around the world. They have not only mastered the art of being fruitful, they have mastered the art of replenishing. Your money finishes not because you are not fruitful, because there is no ability to replenish. Subdue, have dominion. So he's listing all these things and saying you should have dominion. It is important for the saints to understand that our dominion from a sociological standpoint will be based on the value and the contribution that we bring to the socioeconomic sphere of every territory. It is not enough to your prayer and all of this is there are realities that only affect your dealings with God in the realm of the spirit but to bring these truths to experience and to cause the cosmos to bow to the Christ there is a place for productivity productivity is the ability to turn your value into products and services that are needed and useful serve with excellence to a targeted consumer base I just define business Business has nothing to do 
with being a businessman the foundation of business is value value is a measure of your usefulness to a people you know you are useful when men seek you men seeking you and seeking what you carry is a report card an attestation to your value all men seek for thee now this is where believers don't pay attention and I, I bless the Lord for putting conferences like this to guide believers because sometimes as respectfully so but especially we men of God that operate in the apostolic and the prophetic we seem to downplay because of the excellency of what these gifts and the investment of the spirit does in our lives we usually are not careful to mentor people into being productive from a sociological standpoint we make it look as though being useful and valuable from a sociological standpoint is unnecessary just pray and be serious just because i'm a man of god i can prophesy to a millionaire right now and he would do a transfer of a million dollars to my account I can use that template to mentor believers but the problem is they are not called to the fivefold ministry so what is the system the Levitical system of wealth is an unusual system if you're a man of God there is a Levitical privilege given to you someone can see me now and bless me with what is someone's salary for 10 years but that is not the recommended template for all and sundry it's an advantage given to me by reason of what i do we must communicate truths that are applicable regardless of what you do and the secret is value it's not the superstition we sweep africa with and i thank god because i walk in the anointing and in the power of god because most times when people teach these things we we think that they teach it only because they are remedying for the weakness of the anointing a territory that is not productive will beg there is no no um there's no debate there's no contention you are valuable to the degree to which you can come up now listen value is twofold the first is virtue your character not not your transactable skill our generation focuses so much on transaction and our transactable skills that is profitable but it is only useful if you are a man of virtue virtue is the measure of your closeness to the character of christ it has monetary value ask any billionaire ask any millionaire they are very blessed people in this place ask them they will tell you it is difficult to find men of integrity it's difficult to find loyal people you will hear me say it again and again pastor that when skill and character runs a sprint skill will win but when skill and character runs a marathon character will win a gifted rebel is not an asset no there are many people who do not see the excellency of having character the diplomacy to see things and keep, still keep quiet you must not say everything you see it's an art you must master emotional stability the ability to see an open door and still don't move stability not everything is collectible there are times you sell your bet right is God blessing us virtue the virtue of honor the virtue of faithfulness the virtue of integrity the ability to honor all men don't see grace people and ignore them no character you can earn a living being a man of character it will veto your certificate it will veto anything there are many gifted Nigerians who are dangerous the first day you come to a blessed man's house by the second day you go on social media wonders will never end that's the caption imagine with me going to the house of a man and you think everybody is stupid who is online and seeing this and that and an armed robber who has been trying to find out what is in that house is leveraging on the foolishness of the saints oh so this is the first door that leads to the left so this is how the kitchen is two weeks later they've come to boggle them and a prophet who does not see well will say you are the thief <laughs> because by the operation of the spirit he will be scanning those who are associated with that theft and the prophetic reader will find you you just find police come and say let's go to the prison what is it for you know when we reach there see this, this is how the saints cause all kinds of trouble 
listen you must trust God for grace to be a man or a woman of solid character it is not easy that's why we are in grace to live it run around pursuing wealthy people inconveniencing them and getting angry believing you are entitled to a portion of their money who do you think you are you see we have this ugly mindset you see people bless you think everyone is a thief especially if they are young behind every glory there is a story is God blessing us character and then your transactable skill laziness is one thing both God and Satan agree that is useless laziness both God and Satan are in agreement you none of them will use you when you are lazy listen are we together God is challenging us let me show you one scripture first Kings chapter 7 I found this scripture and it blessed me pastor first Kings chapter 7 we'll read 13 and 14 is God helping us tonight many of you will leave this place rejoicing you will say I found it now listen how many of you know you are blessed only when you really serve Kings because the treasure is in the king's palace the treasure is not in the street so you will never enter your sabbath until you get to the palace you may start from anywhere but your goal should be to serve kings and king solomon sent and fetched hiram out of tyre 14. Hmm. now listen whoever this hiram is we want to find out about him whoever would make king solomon to say go and look for him I am interested in this guy he says he was a widow's son look at that humble background a widow's son of the tribe of Naphtali and his father was a man of Tyre you know that Tyre and Sidon was the business hub of the then world and then a worker in brass he was filled with wisdom and understanding and cunning to walk all walks in brass and he came to king solomon and he wrote his work competence pays competence pays mediocrity is the quickest way to sap your energy because you are neither here nor there I made up my mind under God that every area the Lord would want to grant me grace every mountain he would want me to be represented in I'm not called to do everything but the area that the Lord has granted me grace I will master it with the flawlessness of an artist you would think because there are 7.2 billion people in the world everybody's looking for everybody it's, it's a sociological comforting state it's a statement to just comfort everybody you are useful you are valuable it is true in theory but let me tell you those the world is looking for a handful they are an endangered species that's why nations will continue to place a demand on you as a report card that there are not many like you there are people in this country who will never go out of jobs for more than two months they are too valuable to be that idle it is true don't be sad with what I'm saying I'm not being sarcastic I love you but it's true there are people who literally are the backbone of many corporations in this most of what is done is administrative the the real value adding advantage in many corporations is powered by a handful of people and those people are an endangered species they are protected jealously you must trust god for grace to obtain listen step into a level of competence that vetoes your background vetoes your gender the moment people begin to put advantages of tribe and gender it is only their way of explaining away the fundamental reality of your incompetence all men seek for thee i was coming out to come here pastor and there's this keyboardist who was just playing in the hotel where we were lodged boy excellence has a language 
as soon as I stepped I just saw the young man he was just playing this gentleman was so good I said wow look at this Hiram was a widow's son his competence took him to a level where King Solomon there was no GSM how was Solomon told that there is a young man if you want the best call him that a man can be seated in his house and someone will come from another nation and say we came because we heard that there is an architect in Lagos we saw something please curse the spirit of mediocrity from your life forever it is a real demon curse it don't spare yourself when you have to wake up in the night no sit burn the candles study you're a man of God don't just go around looking for impartation sit down and that from a child thou has known the holy scripture that is able to make you wise unto salvation be competent be competent when you can speak to kings you will eat of the bread of kings hallelujah i hear all the songs one of my cars has nathaniel's pastor nathaniel's song permanently it plays like that did you know i used to be a music director before many years ago so i have i i i don't just listen to songs carelessly and say as the spirit leads no no it's too late i've trained my faculty to appreciate excellence why choose between excellence and revelation when i can combine both so I, I i search for an album that ministers to every tripartite dimension of me as you can imagine people give me gifts all the time and everybody just produces something as the apostle just play it in your car and your covenant will work and I, ah. even if you don't respect my car respect me what is all that i live an inspired life because people wait for your inspiration to drink from i'm a chef like who who can you cook for be honest as a man of god don't preach nonsense and go down and someone says wow that was powerful you say really you know the truth you will not be honest with yourself in the name of honesty you give a talk and a presentation in your office be, vet yourself from the lens of be strict enough to meet kings I'm an architect I can build the estate what a risk are you really an architect can you do that have you worked that much build a building bending anyhow falls you waste someone's money and you know human beings are like elephants when it has to do with memory they will remember you after 10 years when you've repented they will still look at you and say I remember 1991 you you say in the name of Jesus say in the name of Jesus I receive grace to crush mediocrity I receive grace to be competent turn it into prayer in one minute grace